In this tutorial I'll present some first basics on the use of our interactive synthesis features for kinematic systems in ASOM version 7. The synthesis methods can be found in the tab Synthesis in the menu ribbon. They are sorted by synthesis type, point of position, two or three conditions, and also by linkage type, one bar, four bar, six bar or slider crank. You'll also find here synthesis for approximate and exact straight line mechanisms. The force synthesis will be dealt with separately as will be the synthesis for energy storage elements like gas springs. We'll begin with a simple problem. I'll switch on the options to catch points and boundaries so I can choose my positions exactly as I want them and then use graphical elements to define two desired positions. Here I will use the feature transform to set the second desired position. Now I will use the feature two-point synthesis for a four-bar system to illustrate the principles of how a synthesis is realized in ASOM. The first step is the choice of a reference coupler. This is of interest only if you want to build two synthesis, one on top of the other, kinematically linked in series, if you will. This will not be covered in this basic tutorial though, so I'll just choose the canvas itself as reference. Now ASOM expects input for two synthesis points, which means from where to where a specific design point on our desired linkage should move. Next ASOM lets us define the joint positions of the system. The first joint can be placed freely anywhere on the canvas since no part of it is forbidden or impossible yet. By default the first joint to be placed is one of the fixed bearings, but we can change the placement order by pressing the hotkey N at any time. I'll choose to first place the two fixed bearings. You can now see a region marked in red. This is a forbidden region which ASOM creates to keep us from placing a joint somewhere where it is certain that no solution for our synthesis problem can be found. Now the only solutions left are on these lines. By placing a drive in the system we can check if our design point really moves from one synthesis point to the other. That works. This was only a point synthesis though. It is to be expected that the angle of the coupler at the end is not yet the angle we want. This can be illustrated by attaching the marker object for our starting position to the coupler like this. If we want to guarantee a certain change of angle as well, we have to choose a position synthesis instead, which I am doing now. The procedure is identical with one exception. In addition to synthesis points, I can also choose synthesis directions, which in combination define two synthesis positions. You can see that I can again position the first fixed bearing freely. There is no forbidden zone marked in red. There is, however, an additional line which already shows where the corresponding joint of the coupler will have to be placed later if the fixed bearing is placed at the current mouse pointer location. As before, I can change the order of joint placement if I want. I'll now place the joints somewhere where it's allowed. Then I can check the success of the synthesis by adding a drive. And, like before, the animation should stop once the synthesis position is reached. The animation direction can be reversed to better represent the desired movement if necessary. The synthesis position is now reached successfully, which can be illustrated further by attaching the marker object for our starting position to the coupler. You can change your synthesis conditions at any time, even after the synthesis is completed. For example, now I'm modifying the desired end position and switching on visibility for the end position as shadow. As you can see, the new end position is reached. You can also change the direction of the position. To conform to the changed conditions, ASOM automatically modifies the joint placements. This is controlled by a priority list that can also be customized. In this case, you can see how the joints of the couplet change position while the fixed bearings stay in place. 
To make them more recognizable, I'll just label the joints first. If I now move the fixed bearings A0 and B0 up in the priority list, Asom respects that priority and changes them first, though only if necessary, while leaving the other joints in place. This synthesis feature is available at all times for moving the positions and also for changing their directions. I can also change the position of joints while ASOM ensures that the synthesis positions are still reached without anything else moving around. This is the case for all joints, as you can see here. It has to be understood, though, that their movement is restricted to these allowed lines only. If I want to move joints outside of the lines, I can allow that too. However, I must accept that then other joints will have to move as well, in this case one of the joints of the coupler. For practice I recommend trying out the simple one bar syntheses first, before you move up to perhaps the three position syntheses for four bar systems, or even try out slider crank or six bar syntheses. Thanks for watching.